Riley, say hi. He's cuddling with mama. Hey guys, since it's November, I realized I haven't filmed my Ipsy bag and I just wanted to show you real quick on here so that I could put my stuff away. So for my October bag, it looked like this. And I got this little mini nail polish from Cirque. And it's in the color XX, I guess. It's just this really fun sparkly glitter. And then I got this Epice, Epice, I think that's how, EPC? No, EPC. That's what it probably is. Purifying exfoliants. So, yeah. Let's see how that is. I got this Noya All Natural Lipstick Deeply in Mauve. And it's very cheap packaging, but I know it's a little sample, but as you can see, I got it everywhere just opening it. It seems like a fun color for fall, though, so I'm curious about that. I have tried this. This is the Fig and Rouge Hand Cream in the scent Mango Mandarin. It's a natural brand with shea butter. Um, it sinks right into my hands, which I do like, but I'm not really that fan, a big fan of the scent, um, but it's fine. And then I also got this liquid liner, which I have not tried. It's the Tattooed Waterproof Eyeliner from Sconey, and I think it's in black. So yeah, that was my October Ipsy bag. I'm at the point where I think I'm going to cancel my Ipsy bag because I'm just not really even using my products that much. And I don't know if it's even worth the $10. I don't know. So we'll see about that. I also got something from Clout, K-L-O-U-T dot com. I've talked about this before. They send you free samples to try every once in a while, depending on your Clout score. And this was a really good one. I got a Shiseido Ultimune, which is a new serum from Shiseido, or they call it a concentrate. And they gave me this really nice size sample. It's .33 fluid ounces. And also a free, a free facial service gift certificate. So I really kind of like the cute little Shiseido plastic bag too. That's weird, I know. And last but not least is Esquito Lashes. Um, they sent me two pairs, which I'm really excited. I've never tried them. I know a ton of YouTubers have already talked about them, but lately I've been into wearing some lashes, so I'm excited to try these. Um, these are the Oh So Sweet Lashes. Very pretty and fluttery. And I love the rose gold packaging too, right? And then these are the Lash Lorette, which are a little bit fuller, still wispy though. I'm really excited to try these and they'll be in a, a tutorial in the very near future. For my eye look today, I have Peach Smoothie in my crease from Makeup Geek, as well as Sunset and Sunrise from Naturally Pretty, a cosmetics palette. And then all over my lip, lid, I have Shimmer Shimmer from uh, Makeup Geek as well. And then I have the liquid liner from Sephora today. It's all right. I'm not, I don't really love it. It's kind of messy. Um, highlights. It is this Laura Mercier highlight in number one. Blush is this limited edition MAC one from Proenza. And then I also have Hula Bronzer on. For my lip, I have the It Cosmetics. Um, nude lip liner and light medium and then my new NARS audacious lipstick in Raquel and don't mind my hair because I'm about to put it up in a bun but this is what it looks like it's pretty natural really annoyed because my lashes are a little clumpy today and that irritates me and my brows are really not perfect <laughs> oh it's just one of those makeup days but I do like my lip so, okay, I'm off to work. Um, can I just say thank you to Chipotle for being open till 10 o'clock at night? Does everyone know that? Chipotle's open till 10. Because I got off at 9 tonight and I was starving and was so happy that Chipotle's open. So I have my burrito bowl, black beans, veggies, cheese, salsa, a little bit of sour cream, lettuce, and just some peach iced tea. Hey guys, I'm with Mama V and we just went to Michael's and Pier 1 and I am going to put a white plate in between these but I wanted to show you these really beautiful plates from Pier 1. Got the smaller, oh Mama V showing you too. <laughs> I'm hot. I'm really hot. Yeah, because we were working hard. we're putting up the trees. Show them. We're almost done. Oh, oh boy. I was showing them the hall first. The lovely top of the tree decided not to light so we have to go get some lights because yeah. it's a pre-lit tree. But so far so good. Anyways. So there's a big plate of snowflakes too. I'm gonna to put a white plate between these so you can see it a little better. And then 
There's snowflake napkin holders in these pretty napkins, Pier also one, from Pier, Pier one. 1. This These mats are also from Pier 1, but I got them a while ago. And You're then, showing them this? How about yeah. if Ryan looks at it? Um, I don't think he watches my vlogs. Okay. And then these really beautiful snowflake cups. I'm so obsessed with them. And look, it's on the bottom too. They're so beautiful. So yeah, that's what it looks like for right now. And then got some, oh, got these little balls from Michael's to fill my plate. And this is going to go on my table once I, if I ever get one. Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> I got some snowflake stickers for my Erin Condren planner. And also some washi tape for my Erin Condren planner too. Little reindeers and checkers. And I got this cute little container to give a present in. Isn't that so cute? It's like Mrs. Claus for a gift for my friend. Is that Michael's? Yeah. This is from Michael's. Everything I just showed you is from Michael's. And I got this ribbon for my tree, but I'm, I'm not feeling it. He's not feeling it. So I'm going to return this. Hated it. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. So you want to say bye? We're going to go to Target now. now. Of course, she's going to have me go look for lights. Woo. Really? Okay, I still love you guys. Okay, bye. bye. You guys, we're at Target looking at all the Christmas stuff. I love this little section. And I got some silver plates to go underneath my snowflake ones. And I got a mug for a friend that's so her. There's Mama B shopping. Christmas. <laughs> Hold on, I'll show you in a second. <laughs> what are you looking at over here? Cute for my country house. Oh, he is cute, little moosey. Okay. Hey guys, I wanted to show you a few things that came in the mail and also one thing I got for Mama B. So Hallmark comes out with these cute little snowmans every single year. And I got this one for Mama B this year. We have all of the other ones over on that table. I think I showed you them last year too, but I'll show you again in a second. Let me turn this one on so you can hear what the, this one yours is. have the year on it they don't always do that so anyways that's what I got and you have to buy three cards to get this for $15.95 and it'll be $30 if not so I got three cards one of them being this really beautiful um, Sarah Jessica Parker card got style of all your own I forget what it says on the inside so yeah then my Target pillows came in. I'm really, really excited. I got these on sale. They were 25% off, I think. And they are going to go on my sofa in my living room. They have silver sequins, really, really pretty. And then it's like a very soft material, like cottony. And then the back is kind of like a tweed. I think that's what you call that. And it matches my sofa really well. So I got two of those. Then, I also got sent some product from Felina Lingerie. They sent me some underwear, which I'm not going to show you, but it's just like three packs of bikini underwear. And then, I'm going to show this in a haul too, but these are so beautiful. I wanted to quickly show you. Look at that. Really pretty. These are unlined too, because I like them that way. And then there's this one. Isn't that beautiful? And last thing I'm going to show you is my mom was cleaning out my great-grandma's photos today. And she found this photo of when my parents first got married 25 years ago. And yep, that's me with a candy in my mouth. Can you see that? Yep, totally have candy in my mouth. Holding on to my dad's finger for dear life. <laughs> and the feet, I can't even. <laughs> but I thought it was a really nice picture. So I'm keeping it. And here are all the little snowman guys. This one's this year's. Pretty sure that was the one from last year. I'm not sure. It might have even been that one back there, but. So cute. 
Hi honeybees, we're back in the hive and by popular demand, I hear. <laughs> Thanks so much for all your kind words. Um, Melissa tells me that you guys are loving the recipes and I'm feeling very humbled about it, so thank you. Um, so today we're gonna make stuffed peppers my way. Um, first of all, I'm going to take these beautiful Ooh, red peppers that I got at Costco and I'm gonna put them in the broiler. And what I'm gonna do is as they're in the broiler, they're gonna turn brown and then you just kind of turn them around until the, all the sides get brown. And the reason why I do that is because I like to take the skin off the peppers. Some people, you don't have to, but I feel like it makes the pepper, stuffed pepper a lot more tougher. Um, some people like it tough. I don't like it tough, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna put them in the broiler and hopefully they'll, we'll keep turning them and I'll show you. And these are all the other ingredients we'll be putting into the, or mommy of you will be putting into the peppers. Um, olive oil, Italian style breadcrumbs, some kind of tomato sauce. We're using the pasta sauce from Hunts and Four Cheese, but whichever one you want. Mushrooms that will be chopped up, mozzarella cheese, an onion, and then the lean ground turkey from Genio. Okay, everyone, I chopped up my onion with my handy dandy pampered chef cutter, and I also cut up my mushrooms. Okay, honeybees, Melissa's being a brat. She says, <laughs> she says, I think they know how to cook onions. Well, the first thing you do is put oil, olive oil in a big pot with some onions until they caramelize, or if they get a little bit of color to them. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our turkey meat. Be careful, then. Oh my God. I'm doing two packs because I'm doing so many, but you guys should just do one pack. And then I'm gonna do what I always do, is I'm gonna cook them in with the onions. And the flavorings, again, that I always use is my lovely Mrs. Dash. Just sprinkle it in. <laughs> Some Italian seasoning, as much as you want. Yeah, I can't tell you, well, you know. Oh boy. Salt, a little bit. Peppa, if you're a real cook, you don't measure. But you do a lot of tasting. That's what it looks like. Here's Hardy. He's so camera shy, it's so funny. He's just cuddling with mommy. Hey, baby. Okay, come over here, Melissa. Okay, everybody, you see how they're getting like a dark color? This is what I'm telling you. Tur keep turning them till all sides get t get that char color on them. The meat's halfway cooked. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna start putting the mushrooms in and let them get cooked with the meat. Okay, now that the meat and the mushrooms are all cooked, this is gonna be our filling. So I'm gonna sprinkle some breadcrumbs, maybe like quarter cup or mom that's more than a quarter cup whatever <laughs> just throw it in what this does is like like stuffing kind of when you make your stuffing it kind of binds it a little bit soaks up the juices and then I put a little bit of the hunts in here maybe a third of the can and kind of a little bit at a time so you can see how it's coming so you don't want to make it real soggy you see how it's starting to get bind a little bit because of the, yeah. the bread crumbs and if you need some more you make a little more <laughs> you can't do wrong when you cook look how it's starting to thicken up now from yeah. the bread crumbs see and that's gonna now I had no idea you put bread crumbs in this yeah and then what you do now that it's all thick we're going to get our rice and we're gonna throw that in there but right now we're boiling the water for the rice the instant rice when John gets his behind here. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting them for me. He's a sweet husband. So when that happens, I'll show you the next step. Okay, everyone, as you can see, it's all thickened up now. And the last thing I did was put some mozzarella in here and then stir it in. And that what that does is it also helps it to bind and gives it a little bit more flavor. It was like, what, a cup? A cup. Okay, everyone, as you can see, they're charred. Now I'm putting them in a plastic bag. I normally put them in a in paper bags, 
but I didn't have any today, so we'll have to make do. Whoa, <laughs> what this does is it helps to loosen the skin. Um, it's steaming them. So I'm just gonna put them in the sink right now and let them kind of steam. And then we'll go from there. I'll show you how to do that. All right, guys, after steaming them, as you can see, the skin is coming off so easily. Look at this. She just peels off, take all the skin off. It's hot, so be careful. But that's what I don't want to eat. This makes it so much tender. Okay? Okay, so the first thing I do under cold water is pull out the stem. If all of the shoo shoo doesn't come out, don't worry about it. The seeds you mean and stuff. The shoo shoo. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot as heck. And it's okay if they break, because they will because you've got to take all the seed out. If, if it's broken, just keep it together. I'm putting them over to the side so when we're stuffing, we know that one's for that one. Just did a bag and a half of the rice, Mom? Just a bag, because they're going to make okay. smaller. And put okay. it inside here in the stuffing. It's like the stuffing mix. Okay. Here's the pepper. Take the pepper, put the stuffing in. Uh-oh. There we go. Make a big old baby. Look at her. Isn't <laughs> beautiful. she beautiful? And then oh. put the tomato sauce on the bottom of the pan and stick her in here. Pretty. Okay, I'm going to stop it. All my peppers are stuffed. Now I'm just putting some of the sauce from the can on top, just a little bit, just to coat them. And at this point, if you really want, especially, you could put some Parmesan on top, bake it in the oven. Now, and then you'll get a, a cheesy top. But if you don't have any time, right now everything in here is cooked. So all you need to do is put it on a plate, put it in the microwave. You could put some Parmesan cheese or whatever you want on top. And it's a delicious meal that's healthy and really good. Yeah, it's awesome. Love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, guys, so we did get the lights, but we didn't finish putting up the tree. We'll, we're going to do that tomorrow together. But I wanted to show you my pillows on the sofa now. I love them. They go really, really well. And let me slowly move over <laughs> to this area. So don't pay attention to that towel there. But I changed my candle holder to my snowflake one. This is what it looks like now that I filled the bowl with the sparkly ball thingies. They're not really ornaments. They're just decor item. I really like it. Once I get a table, it's going to be in the center of the table. And then here is what the little buffet area looks like. And I really like how it turned out. So I found these silver plastic plates at Target for two bucks and some change. And I like how it accents the snowflake plate underneath now. And then I had these white plates from Pottery Barn that now accents the other plate. So I like how it's layered now and you can really see the snowflakes better. And same on that side. You saw the cups already and how I did the napkins. I love, love, love these napkin rings too. So anyways, if I can't have a table decorated, I might as well have my little buffet area done, right? So I really like how it turned out. Hi guys, my tree's up, it's so pretty. It makes me so happy. Here's a little overview with the pillows and I also changed out what I have on the table. My little reindeer and a little sparkly candle tree. And here's my tree. So I'm gonna get close so you can see all the sparkle. I have my flowers, some ribbon that's sparkly as well. These little snowflakes are from Target. The bulbs are from Michael's. And I don't have very many other ornaments. It's pretty simple right now, but I kind of like it that way. From heaven. What? You want me to film you? Sure. She told me no, guys. She really did. I'm having a little bit of a toothache, but I helped her. Do you yeah. like it, guys? Yeah, we had fun decorating the tree together. Then I also have two little ballerina girls. That one there. And her here. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. I'll do one more pass through the tree. 
when you walk in, this is how it looks. For today's makeup, I used my Leo Ellie BB cream again and my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. As you can see, I hate I hit some pan there. So I'm gonna be using that up this year, hopefully. Um, hopefully. Such a makeup order thing to say. <laughs> um, Max skin finish in redhead, only this side, as you can tell. I love it. And then for my blush, I used Sunset from Sonia Kashuk. This was in my October favorites recently. I pulled it out and I can't stop using it. For my eye looked, my eye looked. I cannot talk. It's six o'clock in the morning, by the way. For my eye look, I used MAC Soft Brown as well as uh, as well as well Samoa Silk in my crease. And then I used my ColourPop shadow in sequin. I'm going to be doing a tutorial with this shadow soon for fall. My nails are still not painted, ew. Okay, next for my lip, I used the Estee Lauder Double Wear in Spice Lip Liner. And then my Victoria's Secret lipstick in Incognito. And I pretty much filled my whole lips with this pencil. I'm obsessed. Also was in my October favorites. Okay, I'll show you now. So I turned the light down really low because I felt like it was washing me out. So here's the look. And I'm off to this kind of summit kind of thing. Um, a training with Sephora with 14 different brands. I'm really excited. Um, and then I go to work until 5.30, and then I'm probably going to go to my parents for dinner, possibly after that. And I watch American Horror Stories. So I'll see you guys later. So an exciting thing happened this week. Too Faced followed me on Instagram, and they liked and commented on the photo of my favorite holiday sets that included two of theirs. And they emailed me and said they love my channel and they wanted to send me some product. And I was really, really, really excited because I love Too Faced, and I wanted to show you what they sent me real quick. Isn't this box even cute? Mercy. Then this is what it says here. And then they also gave me a, my own little note. And I already opened it by the way. That's why it looks a little out of sorts. <laughs> Everything was wrapped very nicely. But these are the four items they sent me. I don't have this so I'm really excited about the cat eye palette. And I'll do tutorials in the future after I do my holiday tutorials. Chocolate bar palette, which I do own this, but I'm sure I will use this for a giveaway in the future. Maybe like a New Year's um, giveaway or something. But I love, 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 love the chocolate bar palette. I've done tutorial with this palette before. My One of my favorite mascaras, Better Than Sex Mascara, which we've been sold out at Sephora forever. And a full size of the Melted Lipstick in Melted Peony. So I was so happy to receive this. Thank you so, 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 so much, Too Faced. Um, totally made my day. And I just wanted to share with you guys. Hey guys, I'm off to work. I didn't have time to show you my makeup. But I have More to Love lip liner on for MAC and Rebel. And then on my cheeks today, I have um, Pink Chocolate from Amazing Cosmetics Blush, Too Faced Bronzer, and what is my highlight? It's a skin finish from MAC. I just can't think of what the name is. <laughs> and then on my lids, I did all um, Makeup Geek shadows. Mostly Coco Bear, Creme Brulee. No, not Creme Brulee. The orange one. <laughs> I can't think of it. Uh, this is why I like showing you my makeup while, like, right after I've done it so I can show you everything. But... It's a pretty basic neutral eye, no liner, just mascara, and a bold berry lip. Because that's what we're doing for work. Actually, they probably would like my eye to be a little more smoky, but it is what it is because I was running late. Okay, remember that event I went to, that partner, 14 partner event for Sephora that I went to this week? This is the gratis I got from it, which is pretty dang awesome. This little section here is makeup stuff, and then this whole section is skincare. So, def oh, there's a little hair care section too, but mostly skincare rocked us out. It was like so awesome. Okay, so let me show you the makeup first. Lots of minis. So, I got this little mini. Oh, I just touched it by accident. Laura Mercier Highlight Powder in the bronze color, bronze number three. 
and it's on my hand. I don't think you can see it very well. It's on my hand right there. It's very pretty. And then Benefit gave us all these little minis. I'm not gonna use this because it's too dark. I'll put that in like my little giveaway pile. Stay, Don't Stray, Eyeshadow Primer, Their Real Mini Mascara, Benetint, Professional, and Girl Meets Pearl Primer. Then Lancome gave us a full-size mascara. This is the Hypnos Drama. Got a full-size of the 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow in Soft Linen, which I think I have this, so I might put this in my giveaway stash for friends and family. I can't give these away to you guys. I'm so sorry because it has my employee number on it. I also got a NARS eye primer, Pro Prime, which I absolutely love this eye primer, so very happy to get that. That's a mini size. Um, a mini melted Too Faced Lip in Melted Fuchsia. A deluxe sample size of the Hourglass Mineral Veil, which I love. And then, I've never gotten a mini Hourglass product that was a lip product. This is their lip product in the number... Oh, no, it's not a number. It's in the shade Grace, their Femme Rouge lipstick. And it's just a little mini size of their nude lipstick. So that was pretty cool. Then for hair care, Bumble and Bumble gave us the hairdressers. Invisible Oil, which I have tried a full so sample size of this before and loved it. And then, oh, I almost dropped this. And then a little deluxe size sample of BB Repair Blow Dry Cream. Clarisonic gave us a Clarisonic Head, which is the pore cleansing one. Or this might be the acne cleansing. I think this is the acne cleansing, actually. And the Deep Pore Daily Cleanser, which I've never tried a cleanser from them. And this cute little Clarisonic bag that has a little baby Clarisonic on the zipper. I thought that was so cute. Okay, now on to skincare. Bliss was super generous and gave us a little set that they're giving away for holiday with a full size of Fat Girl Slim, which this is like a skin firming cream, a little hand cream, high intensity hand cream, and the Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Max with Mask, which both of these are deluxe size samples and this is a full size. Then Fresh, I put them in the skincare because I really consider them more skin. All of these are for lips, though. They gave us this cute little bag. And then I got another Sugar Lip Serum Advanced Therapy. Full size. All these are full size. Sugar Tulip Fresh, um, you know, their tinted lip treatments, which I've wanted this for a while, so I'm very excited to have that. And a Sugar Lip Gloss in the shade Cherry Lip Treatment Gloss. Then La Hendrickson gave us their little three wonder set that's in our beauty to go, which is the sheer transforma transformation lotion, which I love. The invigorating night treatment. And one of my favorite serums of all time, Truth Serum. And also a 10 pack of their makeup removing cleansing towelettes in the Nurture Me. They also they also gave us a mini of the Youth Activating Oil, which is very, very hydrating. Okay, next is Mirad. Um, gave us an Essential C Cleanser, which is a pretty good size. These are all deluxe size samples. Rapid Collagen Infusion, which I've never tried. Another thing I haven't tried is this eye cream. Renewing eye cream. Also got an age rapid spot and lightening treatment serum. Daily moisturizer. I love this stuff. The Essential C Day Moisturizer with SPF 30. And their Intensive C Radiance Peel. Oh, and then little samples of the Acne Clearing Solution. And Oil Control Mattifier and Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture. And Peter Thomas Roth gave us a full-size Camu Camu Power C times 30, which is like the highest vitamin C you can get without prescription. And this is a brightening moisturizer, and it's full-size, which is amazing. I've never tried this, and really, really excited. So that's all the gratis. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that.